So whenever my business isn't doing really well, when it's slow, uh, I think there's something going on with the market, people aren't buying, I'm not closing sales, whatever it is, you need more people coming in, right? You, you basically have to counteract, you have to fight the resistance of people to sales and uh, closing deals with volume of people. This goes for any new business. You're starting the business, you have a new offer or product, you're testing things out, whatever it may be, you need more people coming in, especially if you're struggling to make sales or a high percentage of sales. So if you have a 100% close rate, right, when every, every person you talk to ends up buying from you, then yeah, you could talk to five people and make all the five sales that you have for that month, whatever it is. But if that's not the case, let's say you have a 10%, then you have to talk to a lot more people. So here's how it works. When I'm slowing down in my business or something's slowing down and I realize that I have to get more people in, there's a few things that I can do. And I want to talk about one specifically today because nobody talks about it. Nobody does it. And because nobody does it, it's a missed opportunity. So you have the advantage here if you can do it and you do it really well. So let me talk about two of the first uh, things that people usually think of when they're thinking, I got to get more leads. And this is what I did for so long. Number one, they think about paid ads. Well, I'll just run more ads. What ends up happening is you run ads with the money that you need to run your business and you run out of money before the ads become profitable. So that doesn't work. And number two, people start making content. They post on social media. I think that's great to an extent, but that's not content marketing. That's social media marketing, which is a huge distinction. I'll make another video on that later. So the thing that you can do and the thing I do the second I realize my calendar isn't full is I start talking to more people. The more people you talk to, the better chance you have of somebody either having a problem that you can solve or they know somebody who has a problem that you can solve. Where do you start? Who do you go talk to? Well, you can go talk to business owners. You can go talk to people down in the park. However, before you start thinking, oh my God, I don't want to do that. I don't recommend starting there. That's what we call in the marketing world a cold audience, the cold people. They don't know you. You have to first build rapport with them. It's very difficult to go from, hi, you don't know who I am, to, hey, give me a couple thousand dollars for the service that I provide. It's way too difficult. and It's a huge jump. Instead, there's a truck going by. Instead, what you should do is start off with the people closest to you and start to branch out from there. So you call your mom. You call your dad, you call your sister, you call your brother, you call your cousins, then you call your friends, you call your high school friends, your middle school friends, your elementary school friends, you go all the way back as far as you can, and you ask them, hey, do you know anybody who would benefit from what I'm doing now? I just started this new job, or I'm, I'm putting together this new offer. Oh, my coffee's done. So you end up making this massive list of all the people that you know, that those people know, that you have had any interaction with, and you start telling them what you're doing and how they can help you and themselves and their friends, it's a win-win-win, uh, with this new thing that you're doing. If you did that, if you just spent the next eight hours of your day, because you got nothing else going on, your calendar's not full, right? And sure, you could make content, you could do this other thing, you could run ads, you could do all those things. It's not gonna give you the same return as what you did today. And then tomorrow you follow up with the 100 people that you messaged today. And then you follow up the third day. And each one of those days becomes a follow-up for the 100 people you contacted the first day and the 100 people you contact the second day. Now you're probably thinking, well, I don't have that many people. It's probably because you haven't thought about it yet. I want you to first start off by writing down 10 names, just 10 people. And they definitely know 10 people. So we already have 100. But once you realize that 10 people came to you really easily you're going to be much faster at coming up with the next 10 people and then 20 more people. And then people are just going to flood into your brain. You just have to get the cobwebs out of the gears inside your brain with all these names. So that's what I do. That's what I recommend you do. If I were in your shoes, trying to get clients into my door, my calendar's not full. My week looks terrible. Start with the people that you know, and that love you reach out to them, let them know what you're doing, let them know how they can help. If you got value out of this video, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.